Hello everyone and welcome to another video. Today I'm going to be talking about a game that was shown off at the PlayStation State of Play and one that I'm really looking forward to and it's kind of funny because it's not a new game. It's a remaster of like a 30 year old JRPG and that is the Lunar Remastered Collection. Now the Lunar games are ones that I've loved since I was a child. I have some of them here. Here is Lunar 2, Eternal Blue Complete, and then I have Silver Star Harmony right here, which is a remake of Silver Star Story Complete, which was a remake of the Sega CD Silver Star Story. It's kind of confusing, or Silver Star. It's kind of confusing because they've remade the first one and re released the first one so many times. And then Eternal Blue doesn't really get as much love. But out of everything shown off, this is what I'm most excited for because I feel like Lunar is one of those franchises that gets overlooked way too often by JRPG fans because it hasn't really had a modern release in so long. So I'm going to go over to this PlayStation blog right here. We're going to read through it, watch a little bit of the trailer, and discuss. So Lunar Remastered Collection launches on PS5 and PS4 in spring of 2025. I don't know why they're acting like it's a PlayStation thing. It's for PlayStation, Switch, and xbox and steam it's on every platform so acting like it's a playstation thing is kind of odd so the beloved 90s jrpg series returns to playstation after 25 years with updated graphics sound and quality of life improvements it is published by the people who did the grandia hd collection and the original creators of grandia and grandia 2 it is a compilation of the two games with updated graphics sound and new quality of life improvements. So I'll go ahead and play the trailer right here and pause a little bit when I want to interject and say something. In your dreams, magical thoughts, all things are real unless you dream they're not. In your Okay, so like right here, this is what I'm thinking the remastered graphics are. So I don't remember the pixel art in the original having such contrast between the bright areas and the shadow areas. It looks like it's been redrawn into, you know, widescreen format. It looks nice. It looks very faithful to the PlayStation 1 version. Your dreams, love is the plot, carried on wings of hope. This isn't just my adventure, Luna. It's ours. It's so beautiful. So they did re-record a lot of the voice acting. And that makes me think that they're also going to be changing the script quite a bit too. Because if you know anything about the Sega CD and PS1 versions, they were localized by a company called Working Designs. I don't know if you can see that on there. Working Designs localized a lot of games in the 90s and early 2000s. So what they would do is go in and put in a lot of pop culture references and jokes where there wasn't in the original. And you had stuff like in Lunar, they would mention Eddie Vedder and the Clinton presidency and stuff like that. So it was a little odd. I thought that it was funny at the time and I kind of have nostalgia for that, you know, version of the game. But I think that having a more faithful translation would be nice. Now, the thing that I'm afraid of is because it is the year 2025, I don't want any censorship. It's going to be, I don't know, I'm kind of anxious that they're going to censor something or change something. Because I feel like some of the stuff in these games, you know, modern audiences or <laughs> the hypothetical modern audiences could be slightly offended at some of the stuff in these games and i hope they don't like completely change some of the script that would suck but yeah i think since they're doing new voice acting they're probably also retranslating or redoing the script as well to be more in line with the original japanese release you have to be reasonable the dragon master causing problems must be an imposter the time Okay, so I will say the anime art, I don't know how they've done it, but it seems like they've really cleaned up the images from the PS1 version. I don't know if they still had the original artwork laying around that they could scan in at a higher resolution, but it looks gorgeous. Okay, 
Okay, so that is a visual. I don't know who put together this trailer, but I think it's so cool that they matched up the lyrics like only when two brilliantly shine as one and you see both of the games come together into Lunar Remastered Collection. That was a nice visual. The trailer was really nicely done. The only thing that I'm really upset by is I feel like they didn't show the original graphics versus the remastered graphics because I'm having a hard time spotting what's like new in the graphical style that wasn't in there in the PS1. So I actually have some screenshots pulled up here that I'm going to show off for the, you know, Sega CD versus the PS1 to show what the original remake on the PS1 looked like compared to the Sega CD. Because I wish there was an option to go in and actually do the Sega CD graphics. Not going to be there though. So... Here is the, of course, animated cutscenes from the PS1 version that have been upscaled for the remaster. And here is the Sega CD original. A lot of people were like, of course, that looks better. But there's something about that retro pixel art on the Sega CD. And I haven't seen it on almost any other console. It's almost strictly the Sega CD. That there's something about that art style that I just love so much. So here's another comparison. Here's the Sega CD of Lunar 2. Here's Lucia, a character in the game. And then here's another image of Lucia from the PS1 version. And I know it's a different angle, a different scene and everything, but I don't know. There's something about this art and this art that I find so charming. And I kind of wish it was an option in the remaster. Now, if by some miracle it is in there, I'm going to be very happy. And then here's some gameplay over here. So here's the Sega CD original. It had a really brown color palette. And then here is the PS1 version. Then you have the PS1 version of Lunar 2 over here for the battles. And then the Sega CD version. So the original remakes, of course, were pretty drastically different and they did update in a lot of good ways i do kind of wish there was a way to play the original story in the sega cd version of the first one because when they made silver star story complete they changed a lot of key plot details and i actually prefer the pacing of the original even though the ps1 version added in a lot more dialogue and character interactions, so you could get to know the characters a bit more there's something charming about the fast pace of the original and the different story beats because there is a pretty major change in the PS1 version. And I kind of wish you could toggle between both in this, but basically ever since Silver Star Story Complete came out, they haven't even recognized that the Sega CD version exists, essentially. So let's go ahead and read some more so the series that started it all when the games first released in the 90s lunar was a pioneer of its time often credited as being one of the first jrpgs to become popular in the west i don't know about one of the first jrpgs to become popular in the west but this thing that lunar did that other games weren't doing at the time was because it was on the sega cd they could do full motion video and really great cd quality audio and voice acting so that was something that was way ahead of its time when it came out. And again, the cutscenes back then, to me, still look gorgeous today. I, I just love this and this. So definitely were a pioneer. Uh, with the upcoming release of Lunar Remastered Collection, we invite you to experience or re-experience this iconic title that shaped the JRPG genre. A timeless classic reimagined. The remastered edition brings a host of exciting upgrades including widescreen support so i said the art style or the art has definitely been redrawn to fit the entire screen it's not what is it four by three enhanced pixel art hd animated cutscenes, and all new english voice acting again i think with the new english voice acting that means that we might be getting a new script as well Players can choose to either go old school with the original visuals. Now, I don't know what they mean by original visuals. Or go remastered for a more modern look. I haven't seen anything that looks extremely modern. Again, I think it's the slight blur along the edges and then just the high contrast in the colors. Let's see, a new toggle feature allows players to speed up battles, which is something that should be in every RPG, by the way. 
giving them more control over the pace of their adventure, while improved strategy settings make combat even more convenient. And for the first time in the series, Lunar will be available in two additional languages, German and French, alongside English and Japanese. And then we go off into the story of both of them. And let's see. Iconic art, the allure of Lunar also lies in its amazing artwork in both the anime cutscenes and 2D pixel art. Definitely agree there. The blend of these two distinct art styles in the battles, events, and anime cutscenes make it a standout title when it first released. Yes, even today, Lunar's 90s anime aesthetic holds up well in quality, and we've polished it even further for this remaster. This is the image that I had up earlier. This retro art style is a rarity nowadays, and playing this game will surely satiate your appetite for 90s throwbacks. With a little over 25 years having passed since Lunar 2 Eternal Blue Complete released on original PlayStation, it is with great pride that we announced that the Lunar series will be returning to PlayStation with the Lunar Remastered Collection. Experience the revival of this quintessential RPG, JRPG classic, when it releases Spring 2025 on PS4 and PS5. So, yeah... I am beyond excited for this just because it's one of those games that I always recommend to people if they like JRPGs and now there's an easy accessible way for people to play it. They don't have to go through emulation for people who don't want to do emulation. You have a new version that's readily available to buy and play. So yeah, out of all the PlayStation Stay to Play, that is my most anticipated game. I know it's a little silly to some people that, you know, a 25 to 30 year old game is my most anticipated game that's coming out but i know i'm not alone a uh, happy console gamer was extremely happy there was some more people that i saw that were extremely excited just because lunar is one of those franchises that has a diehard fan base and we never get anything new for lunar so this is a special day for people who are fans of lunar and yeah that's about it so if you like the video go ahead and like the video Leave a comment down below and tell me if you know Lunar, if you like Lunar, if you're planning on picking this up. I definitely think that everyone who likes RPGs should experience this series. Dislike the video if you dislike the video, but leave me a comment and tell me why you dislike the video. Subscribe to the channel for more content. I do gameplay and news commentary on different topics in the gaming industry. And then I'll put a link to my Discord in the description box below. You can join there if you want to talk to me and some other people that are around. Kind of empty right now, but hopefully in the future there'll be more people so we can have more varied conversations in there. And yeah, that's about it. I'll see you guys in the next video.